how to never miss a workout. It's to make it as easy as possible for yourself to stay consistent. So many people have this big intention to go to the gym or they go watch a video or listen to a podcast or go to an event, see some kind of inspirational person and they feel inspired to go out and attack the gym, attack their new fitness regime, work on their new diet and fitness plan, but they make it too big. They don't make it easy enough for them to stay consistent. And I have been doing videos like this and sharing messages like this for over 10 years, it's to be able to make something a non-negotiable habit. That's when you make it a part of your identity. If you want to be someone that identifies yourself as being fit, if you want to be someone that can identify yourself with having a fitness life or a fitness lifestyle, it's got to be something that you do every single day. And that's why even for me, someone that considers themselves to be an elite level athlete, at least I have been in many times in my life, my only goal every day is this, to move. That is it. It's just to move. Anything else is a bonus. Today, I want to do an hour of cycling. I want to do an hour of Muay Thai, boxing. I want to do a, a home workout outside. But my only goal, my number one goal, should I say, is to just move. So if I only do yoga, if I only do stretching, that's still the goal achieved. And every single day when you achieve a goal, you boost your own self-confidence because your mind likes ticking boxes off. Now you get good at whatever you practice. You get better at whatever you practice. And if you tick off achieving goals, you're going to get better at achieving goals and being more confident in achieving your goals. But if you say you're going to go to the gym for an hour and you don't, that is a vote for the person that you don't want to be. And you will get better and better and better at saying you're going to do something and not doing it. So without further ado, this is how you keep yourself moving every single day. It's just to do something. And I'm going to give you an example of a workout or an exercise that you can do that anyone can do. There is no excuse. So bear with me. The full version of this exercise is a burpee. Now, some of you watching this already know what a burpee is. Maybe some of you love burpees. Maybe some of you hate burpees. Maybe some of you even love to hate burpees like myself. So a burpee essentially is getting yourself from a standing position down to the floor, your chest on the floor by whatever means, and then standing up again with your feet leaving the ground and your hands above your head. That's how you know you finish the burpee. So a burpee goes down to the floor. Now remember I said stick with me. Right? You go down to the floor, chest on the floor, jump up and jump up. But there are different versions of that. Now if you know burpees, you know that just doing that for seven minutes, we're going to use seven minutes for this video, is going to leave you sweating, is going to leave your blood pumping, is going to leave more oxygen in your brain and your body. You're going to be awake, alert, and worked out. There's no way you can convince me that just doing burpees for seven minutes isn't a workout because I've been doing it for many years. But like I said, if you can't do a burpee like that, if you can't jump down and back and jump up and up or in and up, then what you can do is you can step down. Right, hands down, slowly, one step, one step, slowly lower yourself down, come up, step in, step in, right, I'm being dramatic here, but just doing that, coming down slowly to the floor, standing back up slowly, doing that for seven minutes, you cannot convince me that that is not a workout, and you cannot convince me that you don't have time to do that, that comes with love. And passion, right? I'm passionate about this. I've been teaching this for many, many years, making movement non-negotiable. It's not a coincidence that when people told me, oh, when you hit 30, it'll be more difficult to stay in shape. When you hit 35, it'll get even harder. Oh, when you hit 40, oh, the metabolism slows down. There's a reason why I still look the same way I did over 10 years ago. And that's because movement is absolutely non-negotiable for me and it has become my second nature. It has become a part of who I am. It is, it is my identity to move every day. And it can be your identity too. Only when you make it a part of your life. If you speak Spanish every day, you say you're a Spanish speaker. If you eat healthy every day, you say you're a healthy eater. Well, you cannot say you're not fit and healthy if you don't move every day. 
And it doesn't matter what you're doing to move. It can be burpees, it can be swimming, it can be whatever. As long as you feel like you've fired up your furnace, as long as you feel like you have sweat on your brow, you know you have moved for that day. So tick that box, baby, because that's a goal accomplished. So that's another way to do it. Also, I'm going to really leave you no excuses. If you cannot get down to the floor, you can use a sofa. You can use a higher sofa. You can even see, uh, sorry, you can even use a ledge, which you can't see. Right, ledge would just be up to here, but it's the same principle. Let me use the fo uh, let me use the sofa. It's down, back, chest down, jump in, and jump up. And if you can't jump, you don't have to jump. Just come here, chest down, and stand up, hands above your head. And let's remove more excuses. If you can't do a push up, just go back, in, up, back. And there is no excuse. The only excuse is the one that you give yourself. But no one else is in love with your excuses as much as you are. So, in short, a full burpee would be jumping down, down, in, and up. You can do that same version here on a sofa, right? So it's not as difficult because you're not going all the way down to the floor. Down, and, oops, sorry, down, and up. Down, I overshot myself there because I'm not used to doing them on a sofa. And once again, if you can't jump, just step, step. And you can change legs. Right back with the right, and then back with the left, and forward with the left. There you go. Now, I'll finish on this. Now that I've shared this with you, this message and this workout, if you choose to not move every day, then it means that you're choosing to have the body that you have. It's no one else's fault and no one's coming to rescue you. If you can't even do the basics, how are you ever gonna achieve the big stuff? If you can't do the little things, how are you ever going to get to the big things? I wish you movement every day, stay strong, keep moving, never settle.